the first AGI Bot World Challenge. The competition is based on the G1 robot developed independently by G1 Robotics, a publicly available data set of millions, a foundational large model, and a simulation tool chain. We've created a top-tier platform for participants, empowering them to explore algorithms, make breakthroughs, and innovate using this platform. The competition is divided into two tracks. The first is the manipulation track, which tests the robot's fine manipulation abilities in complex scenarios. The second is the world model track, focusing on the ability to generate world models in open-ended scenarios. This competition has attracted 431 top teams from 23 countries and regions across five continents. What everyone is seeing today is the live finals of the manipulation track. After nearly three months of simulated rounds, 10 teams have stood out from the many participants and made it to today's live robot finals. Our live robot competition features a total of six tasks spread across three scenarios, home, supermarket, and industry. Our competition tasks are also designed to be highly practical, ranging from simple supermarket packing to more complex and delicate operations like using a microwave, as well as flexible tasks such as folding clothes. These tasks thoroughly test the participants' models for their fine manipulation abilities in complex environments. We are from the Institute for AI Industry Research at Tsinghua University. For this competition, we used a model developed by our own team, which is based on the flow-matching vision language action model architecture. We also used a large number of heterogeneous data sets for pre-training, and as a result, our model demonstrated excellent generalization performance on the G1 platform, achieving impressive results. Overall, the experience was very positive. We are also very grateful to Zhuan for providing this batch of open source data. During the pre-training phase, we actually made extensive use of the AGI world data set that Zhuan had made publicly available at the time. So the fact that we were able to achieve a certain level of generalization in this current open scenario was actually something that surprised us. In this competition, we adopted an end-to-end -end large model, allowing the robot to perform a variety of tasks such as pouring water or arranging objects by inputting camera data and language instructions. First of all, we are very grateful to Zhuan for providing such an open source platform, including everything from models to robots to simulation environments. This whole series of partners enabled us to successfully realize what we wanted to do on this platform. Initially, we used UniVLA during the simulation phase to train our own model and then fine-tuned it with our own insights, which allowed us to earn a spot in the finals. First of all, we would like to thank G1 for providing us with such a platform which gave us the opportunity to participate in this offline competition. We developed our model by building upon the UniVLA baseline and incorporated an additional depth encoder. Throughout the competition, I came to realize that there is a great deal of interest in the VLA framework from many people and I believe that bridging the gap between simulation and the real world will be crucial 